We have our guest coffee, and then uh, we can give him coffee. I know, and our no, guest likes his again. coffee like he likes his Lou's. Black. Black as night. Black as night. Uh, thank you, Black Lou. You got it. Um, yeah, we're waiting on our guest. I don't want to jump in. Why don't you fire up the Gronk comedy? You mm-hmm. Fired up. Fired up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Um, mm, huh? Oh, that? man. Just play a little. I want a little key bump. Go back. Just go back a little bit. We can go backwards. Give me a little taste again. I'll oh, take off the shirt, Gronk. You want me to do it? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding again. No, now I'm really just kidding. I'm so sweaty. I'm gross. And guess what? I won't even spill a single drop. Yeah. You know what it is, dude? He's the same thing. The same thing that made Hulk Hogan so unlikable in the fuck video he had. Yeah. With uh, the Bubba the Love Sponge. Did you watch that documentary on Netflix where they go through the entire I Hulk did, Hogan yeah. trial? And I he did. goes, Hulk Hogan's penis is not... He goes, Terry Bolio's penis is not 10 inches. Hulk Hogan's penis. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is so well, you can do that with a wrestling promo? I got a bigger dick. <laughs> I come from parts unknown and I have a 13-inch rod. <laughs> he goes, Let me tell you something, brother. He goes, uh, we didn't need that for your whole wrestling bio. He goes, but I want you to put that down, brother. I got a 10-inch cock. But uh, remember Hulk Hogan's thing? Like, when a guy's like... When they're so in shape and they're so used to getting pussy whipped at them, like they'll they overdo their gross. Yeah. Hot chicks will do it sometimes too. What do you mean? I've met the the chicks in my life. If there's any chick in my in my life, I say I say my life's the wrong way to put it, but they've just been around or heard. Yeah, a chick who's talking about gross. I've never heard a fat, ugly, awful looking woman. Talk about taking shits. Not that I've heard uh, a ton of. The, you, I haven't. I haven't, heard, about a, the, I haven't heard a ton of hot chicks do it either. But it tends to be like the Jenny McCarthy theory. Yes, it's very much like that. It's yeah, where it's just like I take the biggest hot, shit. I, I usually take pictures of it for my friends. Yeah, how like, you? What? It's how you endear yourself or be more than just looks to men. Is you act like you talk about gross shit. Right. And by the way, I'll nonstop watch a girl shit. I'm oh. not saying that at all. <laughs> but you won't talk about it with her? No, I'm just saying I think a girl that brings it up, it's, but it, it's a weird thing. It's almost like, I'm almost challenging you. I'm gonna, I'm so hot, I'm gonna I challenge you almost to see if you can not think I'm hot. Yeah. And he does, he's constantly goes, so sweaty and gross. And it's almost like Hulk Hogan's thing in that video yeah. when he fucked that chick. He was like, yeah, I had like a little plate of spaghetti earlier. I was just a big fat pig. I'm just a big fat gross pig. And you're like, oh. up, Hulk Hogan, like 60 oh. and still huge and jacked. He goes, 24 inch pie fat pig. My belly's all big because I'm just a fat little bitch. <laughs> yeah. He does that. It's like, so it's, like uh, it's still like subtle I just, compliment all fishing I like to, almost. All you I know? Have to do is just, I'm so fat. Don't I look stupid? Yellow and red is a stupid color combination. Listen, I know my legs are jacked, but are these jeans just too tight? Does it look stupid because you can see every single <laughs> muscle way, on my super jacked leg? <laughs> also, if you remember that the way Hulk Hogan is dressed pretty much for the past 30 years... It's like he's the biggest asshole. Oh, he's wearing, yeah, he's wearing fucking yoga pants. He's just like a hot chick at an airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But then it's like, who's also on a lot of blow or possibly LSD. Well, it's yeah. always like, They're always wearing yoga pants, but, uh, tank dude, tops and feather bows. I'm talking like no holds barred, the way he dressed in there, where it was all just muscle, like, everything. Like, it was like, um. When your whole attire is built towards that. Yeah, like aerobics, like an aerobics instructor, like a male ro- aerobics instructor. Yeah, like if you pull his shirt a little bit, he's gonna get a, like a flash dance fall off the shoulder and look sexy like he's trying to be he should, pull, he, he, should pull, he should pull the shirt down between his legs for a sexy picture <laughs> with it falling off his shoulder but then he also well, they had those but then he also had the tight the tight spandex on mm-hmm. so it was like you know just odd shapes like triangles but like light blue and teal yeah. and you know, hey brother just gonna hit the gym for a pump I wanna be able to pump whenever rip it <laughs> um, our guest is here because he went to go get... He summoned Christine. He summoned her? Well, she called him, like, putting out a fire. So can your dick suck before we go on the air? Is he just too tense right now? He's just batch off. I, I love that you call him batch off. Who do you want? Lariat! <laughs> Lariat! Oh, Lariat. <laughs> Lariat. <laughs> Lariat. That's the more pronounced Lariat. version. Um, oh, yeah, well, when she comes back, we'll get into the, uh, the Gronkowski thing for sure. Um, got his house robbed, by the way. Who did? Gronk? Gronkowski, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I like making fun of his comedy, but I don't want to hear that shit. What a poor guy. No, I do not co-sign Rob Gronkowski getting... By the way, people are getting so mad, I keep calling him Ron Gronkowski. You were calling him Ron? And I still feel like I'll do it a thousand more times. You should do it. I know it's Rob Gronkowski, but Ron Gronkowski, first of all, in his family, I promise you, there's a Ron Gronkowski, without a doubt. I bet that there's a Ron and a Rod. (laughs) Rod Gronkowski. There's a Rodney, there's a Ronnie... 
Yeah, for sure. And there's Robbie. You're Robbie, right. and especially that Midwestern accent. You're Robbie. Robbie, Ronnie, Roddy. So, there he is. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Our guest, hey. the Kurt hey. Metzger, hey. back on. Kurt. Hi, Metzger. Kurt. Metzger. Oh, God, I just had a huge argument with you. The Radio Shack manager of security here. Why? Really? About what? Because you don't want you going straight back to the fucking... Oh, my, you can thank Mark Norman for that one. Why? He just breezed right through security, and then they thought it was a fucking breach. So they fought Why? Out. I don't... Because Norman... Thought a puppet He's like, came alive and was yeah. going to kill everyone? He goes, man, yeah. I've seen it. That puppet walked right down the stairs. Oh, my God. Uh, so ah. you, mean, you mean here, upstairs in this floor? Every time I come to Sirius, it's a, pro, a pain to get in the building. Well, every time. Well, it's nice to see you. You too. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Coming in hot. Um, so, well, we're going to get you... Fi- we're glad you're fired up, because we... We have the specific thing that we've been watching, and we're excited that you... What is it? Rob Gronkowski. Your mother being tortured. Gronk? Yeah. <laughs> what if I told you Gronk did stand-up for Showtime? Uh, I would get cable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to get cable, Kurt, because we got the whole clip right here for you. All right, wait. Is this not... No, hold on. Don't work, do uh, <laughs> No, they're plugged into nothing. Okay, these ones are plugged in. We like to do fake headphones for our guests at first. We like to really, you know, trick them with some fake headphones. This is great coming in the studio. I pull in a shiny shop. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Move this. What is this now? I don't know. The sheet doesn't work. It's all stupid. This thing calibrated? (laughs) What's my compression at? Um, Yeah, the security Mm -hmm. up front in here. On this floor, you mean, not downstairs. I mean, when I used to be here, it was a pain in the ass to get in the building, and then now uh, I don't even understand why there's a thing. Oh, who cares? Like, I, I don't get it. But you have to sign in. Fine, I signed in. I'll go to the studio. <laughs> Sit here and wait. Yeah. Someone's got to come get you. Yeah, we need a counselor. We need an adult to come and get you. That's supposed to be Jacob. He's supposed to come out with one of those, like the the long pole that has the loop on the end of it. <laughs> Make sure the dog catcher. <laughs> Who's Jacob? Right here. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob and Black Lewis. Jacob. Get, we have to get you from each side. Oh, Black Lewis. What's up, man? And Black Lewis. I knew him back when he was just Lewis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, things have changed just, around here. They used to really. Security always does give you an issue, no matter when I Kurt know. comes in. Every <laughs> time. It's great though. No, they always do. I goes, I've been here. I think when we used to call him Lewis, he goes, "Yeah." I'm not Lewis anymore, Kurt. <laughs> That's my I'm name. Black Lou now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've Do got- you have two Lewises? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a Lou. We have White Lou and Black That's Lou. That's right, White Lou. Yeah. yeah. I've known him as White this whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you called him White Lou. Also, Lewis got, else. also, Lewis got real, uh, Lewis Farrakhan and got militarized and came in and was like, I'm Black Lou now. Yeah. White oh, Devils. He refers to us as White it's Devil. Black no- Lewis, my brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he goes, I will not call you. You are White Devil number three in my book. <laughs> my brother. My brother. Um, so Rob Gronkowski. Did stand up. He did. He hosts a stand up show, which I at least got to give him credit that he didn't jump out of the gates with Rob Gronkowski to do an hour because you know he believes he can for sure. Well, uh, you just are saying because your your experience with with uh, people that just suddenly decided to stand up, they always think they can do an hour. Is that what you mean? Or yeah. you somebody knows him and said no. That first one. Okay. No, I, I think I think this situation always tends to be some it's, for you to agree. Your first time doing stand up comedy is to be something that they're taping. Mm. Because he doesn't come out there and just host. He tries to do a set. Christine, give him a little piece of the, I gotta keep running from this. This reminds me of, uh, <laughs> of Vinny, uh, Vinny from the Jersey Shore, who, as you recall, yeah. was the nice one. Yeah. We did a whole thing on Very Vinny sure. Jersey I Shore. mean, because I remember him like, oh, and I remember talking with the seller and like, oh, this kid thinks he could do an hour. Yeah. Oh. And you see that in Gronk's kind of attitude that he's kind of like, why wouldn't I be able to do an hour? All you guys are doing is just being clowns on stage. <laughs> Vinny had that weird last and, name. Uh, uh, be mean to people. Vinny, <laughs> yeah. Vinny used to have, he does that. No, he doesn't need to be mean to people. Gronk's approach is much more like, I'm going to talk about how awesome I am. He also makes you Vinny... Want, uh, you want me to fuck your... I know you don't want me to fuck your wife. Well, it's he, a pretty awesome name, Gronk. I mean, <laughs> well, that's like what he calls, way more manly than I've ever been. That's but, what he calls fucking women, is getting Gronk. Getting Gronk. <laughs> we had so much... <laughs> wow. we, had so much uh, we had so much fun with the Vinny things. His last name's like some crazy Guadalupe, Italian. Guadalupe. Yeah, so we were just doing like all the all of his outro jokes. His last name's like, Our Lady of Guadalupe or some uh, really <laughs> yeah, Catholic. Yeah. Yeah, so his thing ends, and he goes like, uh, remember we were doing that? It was so funny. He goes, so uh, then, you know, I went and I went ahead and came on a face. Everybody, thank you so much. I'm Vinny Gachigabuski. Hey, I'm Vinny Gachigabuski. Yeah. And that's where I learned right there that dating is easy as it is. Hey, everybody, thank you so much. I'm 
Everybody up, Vinny Quad, you can go to Google. Uh, Gronk, though, has more of the, um, well, I'll just say he makes Vinny look like Bill Hicks. <laughs> his fucking jokes, he has no self-awareness in life, so that clearly translates to his comedy. You want to give Kurt a taste? Um, oh, time to run that option. Get in the fuck out. I'll back up a little bit more. Oh, it's, oh yeah, this is this is my favorite bit of his. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I say a signature. Oh, bit. this is my pop tarts for Brian Reagan. If he, if he did an hour of of if he did an hour special, I would call it route running, <laughs> running routes. Is right that on um, football terms? I don't know. Sports yeah. Yes. So it's like uh, what wide receiver? Well, you're what about to learn. Some I'm terms. no Gronk. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you're about you're about to learn some the, terms. You're about to learn some terms okay. right now. Yeah, teach me some terms. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, all right. So I'm still in the club. You know, I got to run some patterns and shit. And then all of a sudden, I see big booty, ho, big yes. booty, ho, Sharika. I'm like, damn, that booty's huge. And she's coming at me, shaking it. She's like, oh, Rob, I just want to be gronked. I'm like, oh, Wait, damn. hold on. Could you, uh, I got a question. Yeah, oh, yeah I bet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm surprised yeah, you don't have seven yeah, questions. Yeah. Okay, so was... Was this like he started a story earlier that he's finishing? Oh, I don't understand. Yeah, I think no, we, we no, came no, in a little the, late because he did say he was in the clubs and he's got his shirt off. The bit starts with him being in the clubs running routes because he's referring that's to... Yeah, Shamika's thing is exactly what you heard. That's, that's all of it. Well, he all, just got into the it. The concept is that he has to use his skills in football in real life to get away from... You know, Christine, go back cause I want to hear him say to get away from these... Bitches! I think that's <laughs> coming up. No, that's this. That's this because he says run routes. Okay. Go a little earlier. So Shamika, and who's Shamika? They, yeah, right A here. fictitious black girl with a big booty coming up to him? He just made that up. Yeah. Here oh, my is. God. I thought there was an actual oh, comedian no. named Shamika that was <laughs> following him or something. No, he wouldn't. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, back then, we got to hear what he says right here. This is. I just want you to understand, this is the tone of this comedy show. There's nothing humble, self-aware, or deprecating Well, it's about frankly it unsportsmanlike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kurt, someone at Showtime just came because you said that. And they're like, that's what we were going for. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just I play. like to be more of a sportsman. I, uh, <laughs> I say Shemika, I can't do it right now, but uh, you, got you know what I do? I end every Thank you for the offer. And, uh, I end every comedy show with a handshake, and I go, good game. I shake good everyone's game. hand, yeah. <laughs> good game. I do. I do. A, I make everybody line up, and I go do, and do a row of low fives. <laughs> <laughs> I come I, across... I if I have a good set, I make all the parents hold hands over me, and I do a victory bridge under it. And I go, yeah! <laughs> well, I do that if I get injured, then everybody prays. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. if I get injured on stage. Yeah, <laughs> you take a fall on stage. We need some maskers down. We need something where we're able, or one of us is able to control some of these videos, too, because I just needed to go back literally point two seconds. No, but she's setting it up right here. Oh, yeah, with the sweat thing? You no, just it's all him getting off, getting the jacket off. It wasn't that. When he came back, he starts telling the thing about... I know how women feel when they see me now. That's why I'm trying to. It was all you. I don't literally... want to see the jacket. I thought we wanted. It's to see when the jacket's that. off. No, no there, I, right there. I just like just to see point. the guns. Right here, right here. Wow. Now I understand how you chicks feel when you see me all sweaty and wet. Oh, that's the temperament of what. Oh my! Is <laughs> <laughs> it's salacious. You know, I saw uh, the. Did you see the previous season of this on Sports Like Comedy with uh, Jerry Sandusky? And I have to say, <laughs> Edge Sandusky your was a little bit more sports. <laughs> was, I'll say one thing: his timing was better. <laughs> uh, his shower closer, one of the best I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Sandusky's a little rougher to deal with in the back end, but yeah, uh, out of the gates though, guys. <laughs> honest to God, like uh, I think he's doing comedy for kids. I mean, that's just the feel that I get. Um, Jews are natural jokes. Towers. <laughs> oh, Gronk, man, is it now? How much does CTE come into play here with these? Jokes? Well, I halfway through, he starts bleeding out the ear. <laughs> Coach says it's all right. Yeah. He goes, no, then I God. Uh, hit play right here because this is where he starts getting into the runner routes. Yeah, I just came up with that one. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, he's riffing. He's riffing. Riffing. You can put it that way, you know. All right, my football skills, they come in handy in my life, you know. Yeah. I have to bring my football you know. skills into the club once in a while. I see an X coming at me. I'm running a post pattern right into that lift. I'm out of here. 
I'm, oh, I, here comes I'm space out of here. <laughs> so I'm, great. I'm out of here. <laughs> so great. Oh my god! <laughs> Local car commercial. <laughs> he combines the skill of a college kid introducing you on a college show. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> he goes next guy, uh, Dan Soder from Live at Gotham, and he's here. Are you on You're this show? I am no. out of oh. here. I am out of here. <laughs> That's the meanest thing you've ever said to me. Kurt. He goes, I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm running. A, he goes. I'm running a post route back to my house. I'm Gronk, and I don't get paid unless I make you laugh. He goes. Do you have? Have you or anyone you love have mesothelioma? <laughs> yeah. When does he? When does he like promote Old Spice or whatever? He's <laughs> Terry Crews pops out of his chest. That's why I use Old Spice. <laughs> Terry Crews pops like Freddy. Freddy Part Two. <laughs> yeah. Do a dance. It was me the whole time. It was me the whole time. Watch me pass my pants. You know, we laughed at those old Spice commercials, but he was being me too the entire time. (laughs) (laughs) That was dick grab. The one time. Oh man, I'm trying to have a party, and these CAA agents working me over. I can't believe all of Jay's blackmail friends that we knew back in the day are not me tooing him right now. (laughs) (laughs) Gay gay play. All the guys, Sugar Bear, (laughs) (laughs) Hump a bunch, Hump a bunch. (laughs) I can't. Rapist, grenade face, and, and uh, grenade fist, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Philly John, <laughs> when's Philly John, <laughs> Philly John. Oh my God, who could keep their hands off that Terry Crews? Yeah. Mouth. Oh Rob, suck my titties, suck my titties. I'm your biggest fan. You know something? Time to call that audible and get the fuck out of here and leave. Great job. Man. Yeah, the, his jerky what? movement goes. Goes. Time to call audible. Get the fuck gang. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. The, uh, the football grace of delivering these jokes. It's, I mean, just go back five seconds because that joke makes no sense. Where he goes, oh, stupid women are all just like, suck my titties, I love you. I'm like, get out of my face. <laughs> suck my titties, oh. suck my titties. I got to go, get out of my face. Hold on. Yeah. So he did his set and then he brought up a parna? Did <laughs> 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 she uh, do well with the crowd? Yeah. No, he brings Jenny up uh, I, Jay I, Larson does it. Jay Larson. Larson's on this. J- I Justin that. McKinney. Yeah. Jay Larson. Uh, Caparillo. Okay, now I'm sorry. John I'm Caparillo. Not on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, no, don't get that? me down. You call your manager. Hey, I want to be on Gronk season two. How come I'm not on the fart? Gronk? <laughs> <laughs> How come I'm not getting Gronked over here? I think it's really Gronk. I, I, I don't know right what Gronk now. means. I demand to be Gronked immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm on episode three. Kurt, you don't understand. No, I want to be Gronked or you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the third episode where it's an old linebacker who shoots himself in the chest as it's closer. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just come. Out. Uh, that's, that's right. Oh uh, yeah, that's my cool. That's my cool Twitter handle. Go get your shine box. Who told you to get your shine box recently? Somebody. It's me. So Danny, Danny, Sodes. Me, Danny Sodes is being mean to Big J. Danny Sodes is shutting down on me. Um, what should we call? It? Yeah, go back and start playing. Chick that already banged my teammate and has a kid with him. Oh, time to run that option. Get him the fuck out. <laughs> same joke twice. Just go back. It's the Whoa! same thing. <laughs> it's the same. Jo- it's the same punchline. I know. I know. We're just there. It is. How did this occur? So you can put it that way. Are the people at yeah. Showtime didn't want to give. Me, you, or Dan a special? <laughs> Someone, I'm just like there was a there was a there was a, a some sort of a lapse in comedy happening. Yeah. Show hey, what what, what happened to comedy? Is comedy like done? Like what, what's going on? Almost, like every day, it's almost there's a know. new f- nightmare. Yeah, like yeah. every fucking day is a oh, new nightmare. Oh, it goes yeah. deeper than that. I mean, it, nightmares. It doesn't have to be daily. It could be. Well, it looks like we point. threw Louis away for the right reasons. All right, let's dive <laughs> in. Yeah. Because how close? Is I know, like this is the same network that passed on our show. <laughs> well, luckily when uh, Louis had the pull out of some of his dates, uh, Gronk jumped in there. Yeah, you know, we still have Gronk. I mean, it's okay. I go. yeah. Westbury Music Fair, were you ready for Louis C.K.? Well, prepare to get Because I don't think Gronk Be even... On in, on in, on. I bet Gronk doesn't politely ask before he you watch him Gronk himself. Oh, I think he Gronks with the most utmost certainty and casual consent. Oh, he, in his mind, he believes he's getting consent. He says he could fuck your wife in front of you because you're well, begging him to do let's that. Let's just keep watching this. Also, sure. again, watch the same punchline twice. Christine, please. All right. My football skills, they come in handy in my life. After you the know? I have to bring my football skills. No, you can hit play. You can hit play. Right. We call that audible and get the fuck out of here and leave. Damn. Oh, shit. There's a chick that already banged my teammate and has a kid with him. Oh, time to run that option and get him the fuck out. Penis. 
He goes, I could do this for hours. Give me that option. He goes, I could do that. I could do this all day. What do you guys want? You guys want okay. a post? You want a fly is, route? I'm looking up the direct. I want to know who is. <laughs> Kurt wants names. Kurt's Liam Neeson. I want names. Yeah, <laughs> Scott Moran. Yeah, is the director. Scott Moran. You know Scott Moran. I do. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Schaefer's boyfriend. He was a, he's a comic Brooklyn. You know Scott Moran. Why did he do this? Money. Money? Oh, they, it wasn't his idea. They just no. Like, oh, he directed right. it. No, he, yeah, he woke up. I heard the story was he woke up at like three in the morning one night. He goes, <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> just the way Keith Richards wrote Satisfaction. And then he oh, went down. This. Then the next day at dinner, when him and his uh, girlfriend or Sarah Schaefer were having dinner, he made a Gronkowski out of mashed potatoes. <laughs> and he was like, this came to me. Uh, he <laughs> just means counter- something. <laughs> she goes, honey, honey, stop stop playing with your scrambled eggs. What are you doing? He goes, gronk, 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 gronk. And then he goes like this. He goes, that's what he does. He goes, gronk, 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 gronk. I'm wrong. I like that. It, it I shows. think this ship's asking me to fuck his chick. He goes, no, I won't bang your wife. Not one of these three lights. I'm not banging the middle light. <laughs> Baby, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ladies, I'm looking pretty jacked right now. You want to see? I mean, I mean, he hey, is. What can I say? I'm on. Can Tom I just Brady? tell you about my new show, Ungronkman like football <laughs> with Kurt Metzger? <laughs> I I run the ball the way he delivers a joke. If you can imagine that. Ungronkman like football <laughs> with, yeah, with Kurt Metzger. Scott, where are you? Can you direct this for me? Uh, this is, Kurt, please do some project called on Gronkman like <laughs> conduct. I'm sorry, with, you're uh, uh, conduct. On Gronkman like football with Kurt. <laughs> it's just Kurt not ever catching a pass, but keeps getting thrown. I don't know what I do. I'm like, what a, a Common skills help you in football. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes like you're a tight end, you gotta run a fly <laughs> pattern. <laughs> I go, Butterfingers. Patterns are a funny thing. You have OCD, I have OCD. Oh. You in the patterns? Oh, I love it. I'll back it. I'll get Scott to... Workout plan now. (laughs) 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 I mean, I kind of... He's Barbarino laugh. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm still in the club. You know, I got to run some patterns and shit. And then all of a sudden I see big booty, ho, big booty, ho, Shireka. I'm like, damn, that booty's huge. And she's coming at me, shaking it. She's like, oh, Rob, I just want to be gronked. I'm like, oh, damn. This booty was so big, I had to run a fly pattern right to my house. That's why I'm so good at football. I use my skills at all times. In the club, off the field, in my house, it don't matter. Okay, how big of a gronk does he have, do you think? Do you think he's working with a lot of gronk? He's got a fat, thick dick for sure. How do you know that? I think he's got... He's just so... You know what? I I think he's got an eight... Inch Gronk. Yeah, he's Why such do you a, say that? Because he's it's got to be bigger than average. He's such a hunk of shit of a guy that if uh, there's definitely girls who have fucked him, I'd say eighty percent of the girls who fuck him are, like end up at some point being like he was kind of an asshole. <laughs> or was I or think that uh, and they wouldn't I be able guess, to look up if any women have talked about fucking Gronk. I'm, uh, sure. I'm guessing he thinks it's an eight inch Gronk because women have told him that and they don't want to be crushed. And yeah, and I, but there's got to be there's no way, dude. There's no way. If you, you tell me, you don't if think you tell he has me, any big dick com- like big dick. I've never exhibited confidence like that, and I got the goods <laughs> if, you, if you tell him i got the wall if you're baby. a girl who tells me as an average size dick he just crushes you on his forehead like a beer can yeah, goes, the whole woman he goes, <laughs> he goes um what she goes it's like kind of i don't know i've been with like bigger guys i used to date an nba <laughs> it's not the size of the gronk it's the honking of the gronk <laughs> i'm it's thinking the, of his sayings he has yeah, it when he takes it out smushing of the gronk <laughs> <Does that even rhyme? laughs> it's the rhythm of the good yeah. Gronk. It's not the Gronk in your Gronk, the, but the Gronk the in big, your big, big, big Gronk. <laughs> he goes, oh, big booty, big, big booty Gronk smash. No lie. He just started throwing, he really, he really made up a black name, how black people make up black names. He goes, big old, big old booty, big booty, shaman of America. <laughs> he just said Wait, when you say how black people make up, do you mean like comedians or do you mean like the mothers of children as after they're born make up the name? <laughs> like the yes. whoever made up Plaxico. Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, you want to get Plaxico. <laughs> That's a great example. You want to get gronked? I heard you already been Plaxico. That was his father's uh, plexiglass company. Was it? Putting in storm windows. Really? No, but this is like it could be. Plaxico. <laughs> but was there some dispute as to whether that was really his father? So she named him not to make it for sure. It's your baby, your name? Plaxico. 
Um, well, how can he not be your baby? He got your name. Dude, Plaxico <laughs> is a straight that name. Up. It's a good name. It means you'll have a repair in an hour. <laughs> but where, Plaxico is a straight up like experimental drug name, right? It means, that it means that you'll get a storm door. At a fair price. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it was like, ask your doctor about Plaxico. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Symptoms include you ain't third gonna, and lungs. There ain't no medicine called Gronk that you want. Yeah, you Gronk, might need Plaxico. Gronk sounds like an old king's disease. Plaxico. <laughs> he your, died of Gronk. For your early onset plaque psoriasis. In, yeah. the, in the winter, our fair king caught Gronk. <laughs> he was Gronk. <laughs> he got Gronk. I'm sorry. I've been very rude. <laughs> Mr. Go ahead, Gronk. I apologize. That's right. Everyone think, oh, he's partying. Oh, he's partying. He's partying. More like I'm running routes in the club to get away from all these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's and doing, I, he's doing this, the failing salesman laugh. <laughs> oh, From boy. all these bitches. <laughs> um, where do we stop, actually, when we watch oh, the last before this. Before this. Yeah. Oh, we're, really? Yeah, we're in the new territory, bud. Oh, fantastic. He run, and then I let my brother come in. He looks like me, and then, you know. Dude, that's oh, crazy. Huh? Go back right there. Go back right there, because that's straight up, like, admitting to letting your friend have sex with your girlfriend with her being unaware of it. Well, it's sort of like he passes them off to his brother, is what he's saying. But, like... His brother's in the back. He's like... Ah. His brother does. His brother gives like a thumbs up. He basically goes, like... He goes, I'm famous, so, you know, I can't fuck all the pussy thrown at me, so I dump them off of my brother, and he'll bang these whores. They don't care. They just want to feel something for one night. He goes, right, Rod? He goes, thanks. <laughs> no, he's not. His brother's like always wearing khaki shorts. <laughs> his brother's like a guy who's always wearing khaki shorts. He always has Mardi Gras beads and he's wearing a helmet with the two beers on the yeah. side of it. His brother just lives like that, but he's like 50. Yeah. He goes, I left a family for this. <laughs> Well, I use my skills at all times. In the club, off the field, in my house, it don't matter. Jesus, bro. Like, oh, he, he part oh, he's partying. He's partying. More like I'm running routes in the club to get away from all these bitches. <laughs> God damn. It sounds like, oh, my God, that's painful, dude. It's like Michael, Michael Sarah trying to sound... <laughs> he goes, oh, I, I fuck up. Oh, these bitches. bitches. I can't do it. Uh, yeah, I was trying to do it with Michael Sarah. I can't call hey, that up. You <laughs> bitches, I got to run roots. Oh, I'm so... It's not good, Michael Sarah. My back looks wet. My run, run roots from all these <laughs> Now bitches. I know how you bitches look. If you bitches don't get out of here, I'm going to fuck your face. <laughs> wow, Gronk is like... I totally get Rob Gronkowski being bored with having random sex with beautiful women. Written by Justin Silver. <laughs> 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 He goes, he goes, listen, it's hard. And I get it. Ah, I'm sick of a beautiful women. All this time. Maybe a doodle toe, too. <laughs> Maybe that'll get me going. You know, flip the switch. I don't know. I'm trying to get Gronk this year. <laughs> if I get Gronk, it'll be my biggest trophy. I asked Gronk, this is from uh, TotalFratMove.com, so that's not surprising that's from this website. I asked Gronk, if it ever gets boring having random sex with beautiful women, if he ever gets bored with being the object of female affection, ha, 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 he laughs. Depends. Sometimes, if you're getting too much of it, have Having everyone come up to you every night, you definitely get bored of it. But it's pretty wild when it happens. I'm not going to lie. 98% of the time, no matter where we go, it happens. It's literally been like that since fourth, the fourth grade. Oh, I, God. That, what, a what a dick. What Wherever a dick. Whatever we roll. Hold on. Wait off. a minute. It really didn't oh, matter. Oh, oh, Chicks oh, oh, would come oh, oh, to oh. me no matter what. Hold on. Gronk was raped? Yeah, at four. <laughs> you got fourth, fourth grade? That yeah. is not my teacher. They <laughs> said it was statutory rape, but I didn't care. He goes, Gronk! Goes, I'm so dead inside. I, got, I, go, I couldn't even go to the same I, I hurt so much. Goes, I got gronked by my geography teacher. I got gronked by my PE teacher. But you know what? Five, four Super Bowl rings later, Gronk's doing the gronking now. You know what? You know why I like football? Because I can hit. And it stops the pain of getting yeah. gronked by Mr. Rickles. He was my fourth grade Dude, science teacher. Hey, middle linebacker, see if you can CT the part of my brain Ooh. that feels sad. <laughs> Gronk's had a lot of pain. He's, it sounds like he's got the pain inside. He does have the pain. Of I got to be an inside of his skull from the constant <laughs> yeah, yeah. forced trauma to his fucking... So he's delivering the pain to these... 
<laughs> bitches. <laughs> this is so great. There's but a lot of the time, when it doesn't happen, how do we you not, have more yeah. fun anyway? Because you can hang out with your boys, and your dick's not constantly in pussy. <laughs> Go back to this joke, because he's a simple I guy. I mean, if your dick's yeah. warm all the time, how are you going to know when it's cold? As Fedor Dostoevsky wrote, you can't know happiness without truly knowing sadness. You know, I'm going to look it up here, but I don't think I'll find it. It'll tell you how kind of women are kind of nice, because we don't really know how big Gronk's piece is. Yeah. And he is crushing ass like this, and no one's come out with like a Gronk. It's a fucking great point. Or, you, that's you know? why. I, that's why I said it earlier. So I think it's a big piece because this guy's definitely pissed off enough chicks <laughs> that someone would not be able to wait and be like, and he's got a little dick anyway. <laughs> Also, just the way you looked at your phone as you said that into the microphone, it was so angry chick-like. <laughs> Whoa, Rob Gronkowski flashes his penis to supermodel. Yeah! Wow. Where's, where's He's like, no, I don't understand. Why is that illegal? I was just gronking her. He goes, that's how I, that's my mating dance. I was gonna show, I was gonna show her what I gronk with. <laughs> I show her how I wag it at her. Let's <laughs> How would you guess your penis compares to Rob Gronkowski? That's an actual thing I found. <laughs> the supermodel thing was a photo shoot. Oh. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's all? He's allowed yeah, to pull his dick like, out? <laughs> no, he's like naked. Sorry, flashing. I thought you wanted in the picture. It's right here, here. I thought you wanted in the picture. It was picture. for GQ. Oh, boo. But he was naked. Like, she was looking at his dick. Well, then maybe Gronk's got a piece because I, I, honest to God, like, that seems like a lot of uh, commitment to just whip your piece out like that. Yeah. For GQ, I it's mean that's like, like a, yeah. You know what's funny? That guy is fucking jacked as hell, but at the same time, can that picture look gayer? No, it couldn't. I mean, yeah, if you uh, replace that woman with a man, yeah, something if you're a, showing the model's penis something also. A, yeah. <laughs> something about a really in shape, something about a really in shape naked guy yeah. comes off gay. Of course, you've lived in New York for many years. As, as at all, yeah. I mean, it obviously looks he better looks like than a Chelsea like, Muscle Boy. It looks so know. much. It looks so much better than if I possibly was standing naked like that for sure. Oh, yeah. A million times better, but it somehow also looks gay. Yeah, of course it does. He's got abs and what happens. Yeah, it's, he's all ripped. There is nothing more, more uh, uh, gay chic than nice abs. Like I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's just not a, a hetero dude thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad or good. I just, it just seems so not hetero to. Really right now, there's a guy listening to the show, touching his abs, going, "Shut up, Kurt." Like washboard abs on a dude. There's something gay about it. Yeah. Unless, if you're not in in whatever. fashion or whatever, if yeah. you're not getting paid for your body, if you're not How a male about, exotic dancer, so yeah, it's, it is all gay. How about? And I'm going to keep in mind. I'm talking about Jacob here. How about if you have an eight pack of abs? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Then you're trying to get gronk. I have to have, <laughs> out there I have to gronk it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I you like know, that we use it. Let's just gronk, keep using gronk that around a little bit. Yeah, can we I keep can, using that term as, we're a, like, gonna, uh, as Smurfs yeah. do with we'll, Smurf? We'll, we'll gronk it around the room for a little bit and it's, figure out. Because uh, it's pilot season, and I just want to get my friends together <laughs> this I, year and just just. You get in a room and gronk out with you guys and see if we can come up with something gronky enough to go sell. Are you guys cool with the gronk sesh? What is it? He's a tight end? Is that yeah. his position? He's a gronk end. Ooh. It goes everywhere. You guys want to come over and gronk storm some new show ideas? Yeah. I can't believe that's a position. Tight end? I don't know football. There's yeah. no power bottom on, on the team? <laughs> <laughs> just a tight end? How does football work? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> power bottom? Which was the game? Because I, you know, I follow football so little, it's just every time I hear anything about it, it's something where I'm like, what is this game? Is it just like a full on? <laughs> yeah. You no, I mean even that Joe Pod thing when that happened, I was like, man, they got it's, it's like it's you know, a helmet yeah. for both ends of your kid to be in this game. <laughs> yeah, the butt pad. There's you no, butt there's helmet. no protect. I mean, like yeah. uh, best case scenario, your your top part gets hurt. Yeah. And worst case, both ends. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get burnt on both ends. It's like a banana. You go talk rock, about not- burning the candle both ends, right? <laughs> yeah, you grok what I'm saying. <laughs> you grok, you grok what I'm grokking down. He really, Who, uh, it's not that he seems gay in this. It seems like whoever's idea this was was gay, and Gronk had he just didn't Gronk what was going on. Yeah, I think Gronk. <laughs> I think <laughs> I couldn't gronk, he couldn't Gronk his brain around. Okay, it. Gronk, <laughs> that's really good. Now, <laughs> I want you to put this pillow in front of your. Yeah, he's, he's, like, like, he's like, well, you want me to cover up my Gronk? <laughs> you want me to cover up little Gronk? He yeah. goes, or, or you want me to Gronk the pillow? Here, would that be? <laughs> you want me to Gronk the pillow in front that's of you? That's good, Gronk. Oh, that's fierce. Now you <laughs> he Dan. Goes, work, 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 Dan, work. Be the now. Look at that picture right there. Yeah. Now I want you to be the guy taking the picture. Now you tell Gronk. Yes, Gronk. <laughs> yes, put the pillow there. Like You're back. Hide it. Uh-huh. Hot, Gronk in a good. Yeah, honk. <laughs> Gronk it real good. That's it. Work it, Gronk. Show oh. me that chest. Okay. Show me that chest, Gronk the pillow. Oh, oh, oh. Keep we, Gronking the pillow. 
We're going to be here much longer. i got to gronk some chicks later. No, <laughs> this is you're going to gronk all the chicks later when they see this picture. Gronk that pillow for me. Yeah, i got to gronk some food soon. I'm starting to lose can a you, little tired. Can you gronk in my cup of coffee? <laughs> I think it tastes better. <laughs> all right, bro, if that's what you want. Can you put some gronk in my coffee? Already gronked in this pillow. Look, it's why it's fucking eyes shut. Yeah. It got gronked. It got gronked. Got, you all been gronked. The guy's got to put everything in football terms <laughs> yeah. to make gronk understand. He goes, uh, gronk, it's third and five. We need you to do well. And she goes, got it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. got it. Gronking. Just like, you know, something over the middle, or you want me to stop the clock? <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. I don't know. This is a lot. Let's see what this final joke. I usually run, and then I let my brother come in. He looks like me, and then, you know, oh, Gronk, let me take you home. He takes them all home. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro, how'd you do? He goes, thanks so much, dude. It's so cool being in Boston. I love being your brother. Oh, oh there yeah. he is. Hey, bro. <laughs> so, by the way, Kurt, I want you to look up. I wasn't making up what I said. He's wearing Mardi Gras beads and a fucking helmet with the beer cans on the side. Oh, that's his brother. Yeah. I can't make him out, though. He does yeah. not look like him. Is Back it like it Doug Pitt? Remember we used to laugh about Brad Pitt's brother, Doug Pitt? <laughs> Dude, are you talking about Doug? Yeah. yeah that's he, one of my... Yeah. Do you know what's funny about that? What? My uncle met Doug Pitt. And did he really? On a plane. Oh, and he was man. like, this guy's name's Doug Pitt. He's like the yeah. greatest guy. I was like, what a funny name. I Doug think he's just great because it's like, you like, what does he look like? Exactly like his name is Doug Pitt. He looks just <laughs> slightly off. Like Brad got he's all the no Brad. Part. Yeah, there's Doug Pitt. I mean, he's fine. He's fine. He's great Doug. He's, he's, a, a, he's a bit of a Doug. <laughs> he's got a good Doug face. <laughs> Doug Pitt. I mean. It kind of looks like Brad Pitt and Zach Braff had a kid. Yeah. 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 But he took his father's last name. <laughs> I mean, wait, look at, just yeah, look at like Doug is just like someone just dialed down. It's like the handsome knob. They just turned it down about five notches. Go, it's the same whoa. basic they were, face. They were like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost broke it with that Brad. He yeah. came out a 10.5. Next one do a 6.5. Call him Doug. Oh I'll tell God. you what, though. D being Doug Pitt has p panned out for him, though. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. What do you mean? I bet it's been really good because he's not a... He doesn't live around Brad Pitt. They're not, oh. not close, they're not a close huh? relationship, so he gets to... You kind of like own, like he owns being the the brother of Brad Pitt wherever he's at, oh, and that's worked out for him. Dude, yeah. for sure, for sure. Do you think like girls? Pussy like, wise, uh, for sure. Like, do girls put like they take out like a magazine page and like put it over his face? <laughs> yeah. He almost he, he has to learn how to breathe through his ears so he doesn't die. That's happening. I so many times. Brad's leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> I come in and I pit it. He calls it pitting it. <laughs> I pit it. The new Gronk's on. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm sorry. We we really got off topic because I couldn't. There's an E show coming out. No, shut up. Is that true? About the Gronks. Well, oh, the whole family. I mean, Are they Jewish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Gronkowski. Let's get the Gronkowski. The Gronkowski. They had to change it when our great grandfather came over from Poland. These little shitheads out there running routes to get away from. Beaches. I go. Really? I say to my son, you don't play this boy. We work in the fuck garment district. This is not a thing we do. Robert, what are you doing talking about your schwanz on stage like that? You're going to show the guys your schmeckle? No. What are you showing your schmeckle for? Yeah, he loves to put his punum right in the woman's, you know. This one, everything with the gronking all the time. Um, the well, gronking and the What's wrong with a nice bowl of soup? <laughs> There's a lot more to tear into with the okay. Gronkowski thing, so, but we have to go. We do? Yeah. We do. Kurt, thank you for coming. Oh. Bye, we love God. you. And, uh, yeah, Kurt's going to go over to SDR show. Yeah, you know. there you go. Hell yeah. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. That's Kurt, anything we'll you want to plug? We'll what do you want to plug, Kurt? Uh, I got another plug in a moment. I, I did my, uh, road. I'm not, I got nothing going on until Moon Tower. Moon Tower! Oh, yeah, Moon Tower. The, the only thing I, I can't promote yet because it's like a secret, but I can. Okay. When nice. It comes out. Well, I got, uh, we're all going to be at Moon Tower. So. Oh, yes, yeah. wait, hold on. I'm doing, uh, Race Wars West Coast now because I moved to LA, so. Fuck yeah! Yeah, Race Wars West Coast. So the, well, we'll be I put out there up the no first too. You're doing it with new cast of people? Uh, I don't have a new Sherrod yet, man, because it's very, you know, Sherrod's kind of irreplaceable for me. So sure. I, uh, I did one with, uh, Jamar Neighbors, who's a fun oh, guy. Yeah. Love Jamar. Yeah, Jamar's great. And then, uh, Eric Griffin was on the, uh, second yeah. episode. Nice. Uh, from Workyholics. You know Eric? I know Eric, yeah. That's absolutely. where I got that. My bro, he told me he did a, a black show somewhere and the guy goes, poignant set, my brother. <laughs> and it made me laugh out loud. I can't get out of my head. Uh, Kurt, you're the best buddy. Thanks for hanging out. It was Thank great you. to have you here in New York and we will see you. Sorry. Well, I guess you'll hear hey, us. Yeah. Hey, gronk me on uh, Waste Wars West Coast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Gronk Kurt on the West Coast, and we'll be here to gronk you guys tomorrow. So much gronk. Have a great night. Gronk, gronk. <laughs>